I would just go quiet for no reason. She's not coming. This isn't the song, so I don't know why I was so quiet. <laughs> I was like, okay. <laughs> It doesn't matter where we are, where you are, or where I am. As long as we are together, we are home. I love you, Shilpa. Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> ruined me. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Well, perfectly done. Yeah. This is literally what you're doing. This is a photo like uh, the show for. <laughs> Jeez, Jesus. She wrote me a letter. I didn't even write a letter, but she wrote me one. I can remember the exact moment that I realized I wanted to spend every day with you. And it was maybe after about a month that we started going out, which is very early, and I felt completely crazy and psycho. But you went home to your parents in Cambridge for the weekend, and I just missed you so much. And it was just a weekend. And I just couldn't believe how much I missed you in that first weekend that you were away. And I just couldn't wait for you to come back. And I was actually waiting at the window like a complete, absolute psycho. And that's when I realized I just wanted to spend every day with you. And seven years later, I feel exactly the same. And I love you very much. I can't think of a better person to be number one. Jokes aside, I have seen you both grow together and your relationship grow from strength to strength and there is no doubt that you are perfect complements of each other. With all that being said, I'd like to raise a toast to the newly wedded couple, so again, sorry. If you could please raise your glasses, hopefully they're full. The day I met you, my life became a love story. A, a love story that began with you, was all about you and ends with you. 